Thank you very much, Eric, and welcome all to this presentation, how to cut carbon footprint in green space management. We know that cities and regions all over the world have started the transition towards zero carbon. And one example is C40, a network of the world's mega cities committed to address climate change. C40 connects 97 of the world's greatest cities to take climate actions. And cities like Antwerp in Belgium and the city of Den Haag in Netherlands have almost converted to battery technology already now within green space management. So the transition towards zero carbon is happening right now. To support a zero carbon society, whose corner we have committed to three targets. The first target is carbon and to cut carbon emissions. And the second target is circular, a target to accelerate circular innovations. And our third target is people, a target where we want to influence people to make sustainable choices. But let's look at carbon. We aim to reduce our carbon emissions across the value chain, including manufacturing, suppliers, transportation, and of course the product use. And our commitment for the carbon reduction target is in line with the Paris Agreement to cut at least down to 1.5 degrees scenario. But what will drive the reduction of carbon footprint in practice? Well, two areas already play a significant role, electrification and digitalization. Electrification will cut carbon emissions due to the energy transition and digitalization will support a more efficient use of resources. And due to this transition of our product portfolio, Husqvarna has already cut its carbon emissions by almost 25% since 2015. And at the same time, we have grown the business. From Huxley, we know that approximately 14% of the 155 cities included and their urban areas have grass and low vegetation that needs maintenance. That represent almost 14,000 square kilometers. With conventional moving, this will require a significant amount of fuel and also create a lot of carbon emissions. How do we know that? Well, let's look at Klinkels. It's a Dutch company that made a study on carbon emissions of a project. 54% was related to lawn moving and 29% was related to transportation of people and equipment. So lawn moving can contribute to a large share of carbon emissions. But where are carbon emissions generated during the life cycle of lawn movers? Well, for this we need a life cycle assessment. This illustrative picture describes where the carbon footprint occurs. As you can see, the use phase is important. When comparing a petrol lawnmower with a robotic lawnmower, the carbon footprint is significantly lower. To reduce the carbon footprint from petrol <clears throat> products, it is possible by switching to renewable fuels from sustainable sources. And by sitting to renewable electricity for robotics, it is possible to become almost carbon neutral in the use phase. I mentioned before digitalization as a key driver to cut carbon footprint. With fleet service and the carbon footprint calculator, it is possible to make measuring of carbon emissions a simple way. By getting better insights, about how products are used, it's possible to save fuel and thereby also carbon emissions. With this tool, you can see your carbon footprint from your product fleet and make decisions that will reduce the emission from the product use. Well, there are several ways and several steps possible to reduce carbon emissions. And for the future, we also need to reduce the use of resources and change towards circular business models. One example from Husqvarna is robotic as a service. It's for us a new business model that contributes to more sustainable use of products. 
So to ramp it up, we are committed to cut carbon emissions in green space management and lawn care and drive the transitions towards zero carbon. Are you? With this, I hand over to you again, Eric.